with these being quite beautiful as they are I don't think adding the fussy cuts and collaging is going to do anything for them to do my background instead of using book page and music sheets I'm going to use these library cards what I'm doing is putting down some Mod Podge on this magazine cover you can use white glue with a little bit of water mixed in we are laying down a background what I've decided to do is to fill in some of these gaps with some text and a um, music score particularly where there's no where there's maybe an overlap or there's no real print of interest again just smidge it a bit I can put that over that bit I'm gonna fill in some of these gaps it won't be much just to add different text to this background. My next favourite thing to do is to use watercolour crayons and the way I use them if you haven't seen this before is called scribbling. But I'm going to scribble along where the joins are between all these bits and rub it in and if necessary if I want to I will use a bit of water. I'm starting with the palest colour. You need no artistic ability to scribble and use your finger to smudge things. Once you've covered your piece with the white crayon and if you're wondering I just bought the cheapest on Amazon that had a good review. I prefer it to water to paints but obviously if you have paints and you're good with paints you could go for a less juicy paint mix not too much water in it and get a similar effect then i'm going to take my yellow which i used quite heavily the other day and work that in as well in a similar area if necessary i can go back over with the white so what you're doing is you are playing picking up some of the shapes and the edges that you've created and sometimes just going on the whole thing it is going to be a question of working across the whole board until you've got a look that you're happy with as your background once you're happy with the background the next stage is actually to put another layer of Mod Podge over and this is to protect the work that you've done so far now of course this will smudge some of these because they are watercolours but you're going for a smudgy effect so that is all right again if you don't want those lines showing you'll need to get in there a little bit with a finger and smudge out the lines not only will it protect the work it will stop this feeling waxy i've been looking at this and looking at the things that I want to collage on top and I've decided that this background is too dark therefore with mixed media you just work until you get a result that you like we're going to take some white gesso and just dry brush over the whole thing something else I have are these napkins and what I'm going to do is this is still a bit damp pull the back of these so take any ply that exists off and I think these might be three ply yes they are so that napkins are either two or three ply normally I'm going to use my Mod Podge and cover this new background with the napkin and very gently smooth that on cover the top with some more Mod Podge I will keep going until I have covered the whole of this masterboard now this is all dry I have decided to add some stamping to this you can see some of the things coming through but not as much as I'd have hoped so the way we're going to overcome that is to add a bit of stamping this is 
vintage photo and a music stamp. I'm hoping to get it where it's quite white. If it goes over the flowers, then it will go over the flowers. I think in future I might do it a bit more faded. To do it a bit more faded, we'll just stamp it off once and then stamp it. This is my new vintage photo, so it seems to be quite strong. That's better. That's more what I was looking for. Now I will try a script stamp. I wonder if it's coming through because I am doing it so quickly and lightly. It is a little bit. Okay, that looks quite nice. See, I do like that mark there. So I'm wondering about with the black doing some postage marks and some general kind of marks or numbers. Yeah, that's not bad. I randomly move that around some of the white areas. Another stamp I have is the word explore. And I'm just looking to see if there's an area where we can put whole words. May not be, and it may not look any good because it's quite big. Might leave it at this. It's got some black and some brown printed on it. And of course you've got the napkin and you've got some of the green and yellow showing through. With these being quite beautiful as they are, I don't think adding the fussy cuts and collaging is going to do anything for them. Out of that one A4, masterboard we've ended up with six various size tags two tuck spots two corner pockets two belly bands 